Hi, it's me, Martin, and today I want to discuss with you this Xiaomi smartwatch. And no, even though it looks like a lot, it's not the Amazfit Bip, so let's get right into it. Before we start, we have to sort a couple of things out for this smartwatch from Xiaomi and Heilu. This smartwatch is from the brand Heilu. However, the brand is owned by, and let me try to say this correctly, Dongguan Liseng Electronic, which secured the funding from Xiaomi back in 2015 and is therefore one of the earliest Xiaomi ecosystem companies. They produce, for example, Redmi Air Dots, but also many other Bluetooth headsets for Xiaomi, including marketing and research and development. So basically, this is the Xiaomi Halo LS01 smartwatch. And now that we have that out of the way, is this really not some sort of an Amazfit bib? Well, kinda. Let me explain. First of all, in terms of design, it has quite some similarities. The style is rectangular with a slightly bigger bezel at the bottom of the display, and both are 1.3 inch. However, the bib has a transflective display. But the resolution on the Halo watch is higher at 240 versus 176 pixels on the BIP. Another major difference between the two is the app used. You can't use the Mi Fit application, you need to download and install the Halo Sport app. Even after connecting it for the very first time, setting up everything and start using it, I've noticed quite funny English. Another funny thing is the box. Because the watch over here is presented in English, but the watch itself has only the Chinese language and there's no way to change it. I have seen some other YouTubers with the international version where you have the English language and the Russian language. And if you're interested in this version, I will leave a link in the video description because that's also the model that you can update because this one is stuck on version 24 if I'm correct but it's kind of annoying that you purchase something and that basically it's already obsolete this watch can track nine modes running cycling walking fitness treadmill mountain climbing hiking spinning and yoga now, even though it has an ip68 rating it is not advisable to swim with it and there's no swimming mode therefore as well what i'm kind of surprised about in a positive way is the accuracy of the step counter I did a test with taking 250 steps and to my surprise, the watch counted it almost perfect. 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 250. Well, that's uh, for me accurate enough, 252. Hmm. On this $18 watch you won't find GPS, but there is a heart rate sensor. But then again, it's often a hit and a miss in terms of accuracy. The sleep tracker does a very good job with falling asleep and waking up time. There is, however, quite a few differences in quality of sleep if you compare it to the Polar Ignite $200 smartwatch. But then again, for this price, I am surprised to see what you get in return and that the falling asleep and waking up time is actually accurate. Remember that display over here? Well, it's just a normal display, not a transflective one, like on the Amazfit BIP, and therefore the battery drains quite a bit faster. With a daily workout for one hour, the 210 mAh battery lasted about 5 days. And the battery drops about 10-12% to a day with sleep tracking and notifications turned on. And speaking about the notifications, unfortunately only a few limited apps are supported. And last but not least, you might have noticed in this video that besides the Chinese, there is some lag in the UI. And that's a bit annoying if you're used to the smooth interface on the Mi Band 4 or other Xiaomi watches for example. So what do I think of this Xiaomi smartwatch for only $18? Well, if you don't want to break the bank, I think it's a good choice if you get the international version because with this Chinese version, it's kind of obsolete. I don't receive any updates. I'm still stuck on version 24 while I've seen YouTubers with version 27. And if you're looking for an interesting smartwatch or you have a tight budget, 
this is one that you can consider but then make sure you visit the link in the video's description to the international model. You have to keep in mind though that there's no Xiaomi logo on this product and there is some lag in the UI. You can't use the Mi Fit application and there's some Chinese on the watch face. Although, like I said before, I have seen some English units by now. Alright, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did so, please give the video a like and subscribe in case you haven't already. If you have some comments or questions or maybe remarks, let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to help you out. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see all of you in the next one.